Hi guys, people usually just throw away old laptop batteries, if you have one, don't toss it out. I'm gonna show you how easily you can make nice and cool power bank using your old battery. The first thing you need to do is safely and carefully disassemble your battery pack. Take a small knife, pierce the seam and slowly pry around. Here we have 600 18 650 lithium iron cells. They usually don't die all at once, some of them still in good condition. This charge controller counts charge-discharge cycles and at some pre-programmed point simply blocks this battery pack and your laptop asks to replace it. I bought these power bank cases for a few bucks, all the links in description and it's all with free shipping. This one is the cheapest, just 86 cents. So, all you have to do is just put the battery inside. Pretty simple schematic, charge controller and DC step-up converter for converting the existing 3.7 volts to 5 volts, made of plastic. This guy looks really cool, made of aluminum and cost 1 buck 20 cents. Schematics looks very similar and operates the same way. This case has a button which turns on power bank or a flashlight. This case fits two batteries, so it doubles the capacity and charging port provides up to 1.5 amps. And the biggest one costs 2.5 bucks and can fit up to 6 cells. Here we have two USB ports, 2 amps each and LED flashlight. It's more like DIY project, which requires some tools and soldering skills, so it's not for everyone. You can also create your own project with any number or type of batteries using these controllers. So, I'm gonna start with this one, let's assemble the case and then solder all the batteries in parallel. I do recommend to leave this nickel ribbon and solder wires to its ends. By the way, these wires from old mouse, in case if you don't know where to get them. Ok, looks like it's almost fully charged. Pressing the button twice turns the flashlight on and off. One quick press will display the battery level and turn the pack on. So this one is ready. Finally, let's test small power banks. Using pliers or tweezers, remove the ribbon cable. Then insert battery with correct polarity and close the lid. It took some time to figure out how it works and to check and charge the batteries. They all have the same LED indication, blinking red LED while charging and solid red when the battery is full, solid blue when the power bank is charging your device and blinking blue when the battery is low. They all work fine, but it all depends on the quality of the battery cells. It's not that critical if it's 6 cell power bank, but if it's only one used 5 year old cell inside, don't expect too much. <laughs> 